Hello amazing hackers, hope you're doing well today. So for today's challenge, I want to show you guys how you could have failed because showing how you could succeed is of course interesting, but I think showing how you could fail is even more interesting because then I could show you all the ways that I can try to hack this API because I have an API here in front of me of course, and this has a few endpoints. I have a book and there's also a secret book. Now in here I've hidden um, previously, I've hidden a code to my, um, oh, this is not the right one, of course, I've hidden a code in this URL. So you have books and then you can have a question mark, ID equals blah, blah, blah. So one, for example, then I can see that this method in particular is not allowed. Now, what I'm trying to do here is an HTTP method called get. Now, it's really important that you look at the HTTP methods that are allowed. So for this one, I need to know, okay, so exactly what can I do here? So I'm going to intercept this traffic and I'm going to uh, start up OWASP SAP here for a change because I want to do something different for a change. So um, you're going to see my my OBS for a second and then we're going to switch to that if it wants to of course I have a lot open as you can see now it was zap I've worked with it a little bit I think it's an interesting tool for sure definitely but I think it's different a lot different than drop suite I'm going to make a separate video on it once I understand it a little bit better but for now I don't understand it yet so for now, I don't want a persistent session. I just want to manually explore and I have a particular URL in mind as well because I want this URL, of course. So I'm going to copy this URL over and I want to explore this particular URL. Now it's not going to be in here selectable. Uh, it's not on my sites. So what I need to do is I need to add it to my sites first. So I'm going to go here to my sites. I'm going to see, uh, just launch my browser. And then the URL doesn't really matter. I just need to look at my request. I can add it to my sites. I'm going to do that later. But for now, I'm just going to work with my browser as is. So everything is going to be in scope. There's going to be a request coming in soon and a response as well. But I'm not going to be able to edit like this. I'm just going to see it in here. Good enough for me for now. I don't fully understand Zap yet. Going to be fully honest here. Um, so there's that. But what they do understand is that I have my request here that I need. I'm going to send this to the repeater because I want to uh, change something here and I want to change the method. I want to see, okay, now exactly what can I do? So I have my get, which I couldn't do. Method was not allowed, that's it. So I'm going to say options. And now I can see exactly what is allowed because it's going to say it in the headers. And this is important. This is not the response body. This is my response headers. It's going to tell me, okay, I have options and a delete. I can also do a delete because what a lot of you have been trying was, let's try post, just blindly try post, method not allowed. Let's try put. Those are some good things you can try, of course, but it's going to say method not allowed because it simply doesn't allow those methods. So in here, you always have to see, okay, exactly what can I do then? What are my options here? Now I can see this also has a possibility to change it over here, which is pretty interesting. Um, I didn't notice this before, but I think OWASP SAP has some pretty good functions as well. For example, the spider is free. And what a lot of people will do is they'll chain OWASP SAP with their spidering function into burp proxy and then it's going to populate the sitemap with this uh, with the spidering function really interesting in my opinion um, but now let's try the delete option shall we it's not actually going to delete anything as you can see it's going to return a secret book but since we are in, in book one we're just seeing the data of book one so of course what a lot of you have been trying as well is to see the specific books themselves but there's also a secret book in here book number three and that's where it's it's like a little bit tricky because i had this particular book in here now the code just doesn't work anymore the challenge is still available i'll put it in the link in the description below as well but for this particular challenge you can fail in a few ways you can fail to see that the delete option is required here um, you can fail to see that you need to change the identifier to something that is not in this list because of course this list only has a few books in them 
0, 1, and 2, you need to look for book number 3. But first you need to know that you can delete something. You have to delete. You have to use that method in particular. Um, now, of course, you're not going to find the delete method and it's going to show you information and in, in, in real life it's probably going to actually delete an object. So be very careful with using that method. Um, and something else you could have done, or at least what a lot of you have tried, was things like SQL injection, reflect cross-site scripting on that parameter. A lot of things, some people even tried to run fuzzers on that particular parameter. Some people tried to find hidden parameters, which was also a good idea, but I didn't hide any parameter for this particular challenge. So that's also we you could have failed was looking for hidden parameters. Um, some people tried directory brute forcing the website, even though I told you it's not necessary at all. You don't have to directory brute force, but people were doing it anyway. There's nothing on here except for these URLs, I promise. Um, and also maybe show you guys the script because it's not that hard to understand, to be honest. Um, do I have it open? Yes, here we go. So I have a lab server here. I'm going to exit my SQL because I was running some, some things in here. Uh, and I'm going to go back and in here I have a few folders as you can see. Uh, and this one in particular it was the API one. So this one is going to be in root slash API and then affiliate slash root uh, and then projects. And in here I think there's an API folder. Yes, there is. And in here I have a few files and there's going to be the, uh, I think this one is the API giveaway, cut API giveaway. Yes, as you can see, this is the one because it's running on port 5005. And the code, I have basically two arrays, books, this is going to show when you open the list view, and this one in particular. And then there's going to be a second one, which is going to be used for when you get the details of a particular book. But as you can see, I only allow methods to delete in here. I could put others in here as well, like put, like post. But I knew some of you were trying to guess post and put, so that was not the right thing to do. You had to, you actually had to use the option scroll first and then see that the delete was available. Um, now, it's a nasty trick, of course, it's just a very simple, very static script, but this is something that could happen in real life as well. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. I hope you found some good cheese, guys. See you later and I hope you get the best bounties ever, I hope you found the best cross-site scripting and I wish you the best of luck. Bye amazing hackers!